Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free Hi guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video we're going to be doing an ultimate clean and declutter with me as well I have a dresser, that dresser that's in my living room those drawers you guys don't even want to know you guys will see in a minute here but there's so much junk in there we're going to be going through decluttering that as well as doing an ultimate clean of the rest of my house we got to tidy up the basement we got to tidy up the kitchen the dining room the office we have a ton of stuff to do today so i hope you're ready for some awesome cleaning motivation make sure and hit that like and if you are new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe i'm getting very close to a thousand subscribers and i would love to have you join our community here Without further ado, let's just get right on into the video and let me know in the comments down below if I have helped to motivate you today. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start out in the kitchen. And first off, I have to apologize for the sound of my voice. I am sick at the time of recording this voiceover, so I'm sure that's gonna be really, really lovely for you guys and you'll really appreciate it. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just start to clear off all of the counters and get all of the dishes going. So I'm gonna be unloading the dishwasher, I'm gonna be reloading it, I'm gonna be hand washing. There's all sorts of amazing cleaning motivation for you guys today. And also, I do wanna mention something that I did not mention in the intro, and that is that I'm gonna end up doing a cook with me as well in this video. I decided to do that kind of halfway through my cleaning day. I wanted to throw a crock pot meal in the crock pot and I thought might as well show you guys what I'm making. So that is also gonna be coming up in a little while as well and it's a really, really easy recipe. It's only a couple of canned goods and it is so fast and so easy to just dump in there and get going. So anyways, I'm gonna put on some music so that you guys don't have to hear me talking for a long time but I will be popping on here every once in a while letting you guys know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm telling you, you sure don't appreciate your health until you're sick, that's for sure. As I'm recording this voiceover, I'm just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how bad I sound and how bad I feel. And I have to be traveling today too. So anyways, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure missing the days when I was actually doing my cleaning here and feeling really, really good because, you know, now I'd rather be doing cleaning and not feeling the way I'm feeling. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna continue on our motivation. 
but I wanted to ask you guys, you're going to see me here in a minute, I'm going to be wiping down my counters and I'm just using my dishcloth. <laughs> and that's something that I do quite a bit. But one of my girlfriends had mentioned after watching my video, she's like, do you really use the same, the same uh, rag to wipe down your counters that you wash your dishes with? And I was like, yeah, I've always done that. And she's like, that's so gross. So I wanted to know, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think that's gross? Do you do that? Like, I don't really understand if the if the dish rag is clean enough to wash your dishes with, why can't it wipe down your counters? I'm really confused by that. <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below if you do that or if you get a separate rag. I mean, of course, when I'm like wiping down my counters with um, like with my all-purpose spray or whatever, and I'm just trying to give them a good disinfectant, I will use a separate rag. But just like normal every day, just wiping off the countertops, I just use my dish rag. And I never had thought about it until she mentioned something to me. <laughs> So now I'm moving over into my recycling corner and you guys know I've shown this before this <laughs> recycling corner gets so out of hand it's insane I go through so much recycling like I could just probably fill out this entire uh, bin every day for sure and <laughs> take it out to the bin so and sometimes I find it really frustrating because they do our weekly garbage pickup every week but the recycling only gets picked up every two weeks and I find that to be so annoying because I fill up my recycling way faster than I fill up my garbage so I I tend to let things just like pile up in this cabinet until I have so, so much that I'm forced to take it outside because quite frankly, I'm lazy. <laughs> Don't want to actually take the steps of taking it outside. So in this video, I am taking out my recycling and as you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my garbage as well. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get into the crock pot meal and all you're going to need for this is a can of diced tomatoes and I have the chili flavor in mine and we're going to be making basically a ranch chili chicken and we're going to serve it with rice. So you're going to want that can of chopped diced tomatoes with chili seasoning Then you're going to want a can of corn and I, if I was making it just for myself and my son, I would have also added a can of mushrooms because I love mushrooms but my boyfriend does not like them at all so I decided not to add them in this recipe. And you're going to get a can of mixed beans. I always like using the cans of mixed beans in my chili because I like kind of a variety rather than just using kidney beans or whatever. And so this, this can of beans, I think it has kidney beans, red kidney beans, chickpeas, it has some other beans too. I think it has some brown beads in it all kinds of different beads so it's like a, a six bead medley and go ahead and just of course rinse that off first because you don't want all that yucky bean juice in there but the rest of the juices I don't bother draining I leave all the corn juice in there I leave all the tomato juice in there because I like it more like a soup my boyfriend likes it more thick but I will take like the, all the broth I love the broth so I'll leave that in if you want yours a little bit thicker then you might want to drain your corn and drain your tomatoes as well so that's all we're gonna put the, those cans in those three things and then you're gonna add some ranch I'm adding a quarter cup of ranch uh, you could also use a ranch packet I did not have one otherwise I probably would have just used that um, all I had was actual ranch dressing so I'm just going ahead and pouring that into my measuring cup and getting that all in there and I'm gonna put this on high for four hours um, I'm also gonna be adding two frozen chicken breasts you can use fresh as well um, and basically the longer that you cook it the more tender the chicken's gonna be and the more flavorful everything is going to be so normally when I'm making a meal like this I would probably do it on low for eight hours but I had decided to make this like later on in the day as I was cleaning and uh, so I didn't have that much time so I just put it on high for four hours but you're just gonna mix everything in there I didn't add any extra seasonings at all it's so easy to make this meal and just sit there and let it go like I said on high for for four hours or on low for eight hours. And now we are going to be getting into my decluttering portion of the video. So this is the cabinet that we're talking about. I don't want to show you guys too much of what's going to be happening here because you might be able to see around that my living room has changed. I don't want to show you too much of that. So we're just going to focus on the cabinet. You guys will see that video coming next week. Um, but as you can see in these drawers, they are jam packed full and it's literally just crap. <laughs> 
garbage in there. It is just like some of this stuff, I don't know what it even is. It's like receipts, it's literal trash, <laughs> and it was time to clean this out. I hadn't cleaned out this cabinet in probably like four years. So what I'm doing is I'm just going drawer by drawer and I'm gonna empty everything out and then reorganize it. There's a ton of like tools and stuff in here so I brought my tool chest up from the basement so that I could like put those tools back in. And I'm just trying to kind of organize things and make separate drawers for each thing. I noticed that I had a ton of random cords, stuff that I wasn't even sure what it was, all that kind of stuff. But you never, like, it's all those kind of things where you don't want to throw it out just in case you ever need it. Because cords, you know, like, you always are like, oh, I wish I had this. And you can check in this drawer. And I had so many of those. So I wanted to make a specific drawer for cords and like random electronic things, chargers, that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna go through here and kind of go through everything, get rid of a lot. I've got a huge trash bag here now. I'm gonna be throwing a lot of stuff away. And yeah, just hang out with me while I declutter this and I'll show you the after at the end and go through what all the drawers are for. tried my best but I can make you happy and I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out because you know I tried the best I could I don't know how or what I could have done better baby I really tried the best I could Can't stop time for you So I would love to know if you guys have an area like this in your home that has just kind of become a catch-all. It's a place where you can just like shut, it's literally an entire chest of drawers full of junk drawers. <laughs> do you guys have a place like that in your home? And if you do, I would love it if you would go ahead and clean that this week. That is not going to be on our list for our 52 weeks of clean, although it should be. This is just kind of an extra added bonus. Make sure you guys are getting that stuff organized because there's no need to have all this extra clutter and this stuff was stuff that I hadn't even looked at in years for the most part. So if you have an area like this in your home, make sure that you are getting to it as soon as possible because it just helps with your overall state of mind, not having a bunch of clutter anywhere in your home. It's pretty clear to me, kind of strange I can take a beat from my better stuff, it's like no one else even Nobody gets, nobody gets me. I'm looking 
looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. I'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. guys so it is much more organized now I got rid of half a garbage bag full of stuff out of here which is awesome and now we have drawers for everything so this is our extra cords and electronics drawer this is batteries and like home like we have a toolbox that goes downstairs, but just stuff that we typically use quite a bit to keep upstairs. This is all manuals, cards. This one is our craft drawer, so all different sort of items for making crafts. We have a games and puzzles drawer. And down here is another games and puzzles drawer. It wouldn't fit into one. This one, we've got cat things. So blazers, cat toys, cat collars. I'm probably gonna put the cat food in here too. Then we have a drawer of DVDs and another drawer of DVDs. <laughs> Okay, so now we are heading down into the basement, and as you can see here, I have a lot of toys to clean up, so I just wanted to go ahead, quickly clean up all of these toys. I have a bunch of laundry that was drying down here, and so I'm gonna grab that all as well and put that all away. But for the most part, this didn't take too long. I just kind of ran through it as quickly as possible and got everything put back into its place.
Okay, so we are now nearing the end of the video and it is time to finish up making my crock pot meal. So as you can see, it's looking really, really yummy. Everything's come together really nicely and this tastes amazing, let me tell you guys. So you're just gonna go ahead, take off the chicken and you're just gonna shred it. I just used two forks and I shred it. I've heard people using a mixer or like a blender or a food processor, but I find that it's just like quick and easy just to do it by hand. And even after only four hours, these frozen chicken breasts, they're very, very tender. So the meat is just like falling apart. So you're gonna go ahead, shred all that, and then you're gonna add it back into it. And then you're basically just gonna serve it on rice with some cheese and like I said, this meal is so, so delicious and it's really healthy as well. And it just tastes so good in basically no time with only a few ingredients. Well, you guys, that is it for our video today. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. I hope you gained a ton of cleaning motivation from this video and let me know in the comments down below if I helped you in any way. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.